Hi everyone, how's it going? Um, Gearbest have sent me a, a couple of very interesting knives to look at by Fura, and today I'm going to take a look at this one here. Let's get it out of the tin, shall we? And there we go. Look at that. And this is what Fura are calling the mini folding knife. It's quite nice, isn't it? Let's have a look at it, turn him over. As you can see, it's a little frame lock. Um, it's got a nice pivot screw here. Uh, you've got somewhere for a lanyard, or even maybe you could hang it onto your key ring. It's nicely machined up. This one's in grey. Uh, you can also get it in deep blue, golden, or lighter blue colour. Let's have a look at the blade, shall we, guys? Because this is an interesting blade. There we go, look at that. How interesting is that? I think we ought to have a closer look. Right, and we'll start by uh, taking a look at this blade first. It's a rather interesting shape here. As you can see here, they've taken the top corner off it to make it a little bit more safer to handle when it's folded away. And it's also got two flat surfaces ground on this side, as you can see. And if you turn it over carefully, you can see it's also got the same flat ground here too. See how thick it is. There we are. It's actually um, three mil thick, this blade. We move along to the uh, handles, the titanium handles here. Look at that frame lock. Nice um, proprietary pivot pin screws. Uh, I dare say you could get a, uh, a standard flat blade screwdriver into those. We've got a um, lanyard slot or even a keyring slot here. Sell together with the uh, torx screws at this end. So look, <coughs> open construction here with some very nice designed little pillows at the back end of things. They're nice. And the lockup, that's quite nice too. Look at that. That's not bad. Let's uh, close the blade away for a second or two. There we are. <coughs> and there's the centering, guys. It's quite good too, isn't it? If we open the, uh, you can see there's a little hook. There's a little hook on the blade here. And that goes onto the uh, little blade stop just at the top here. Brilliant. That's quite an interesting little. Uh, I like these um, grooves machined into the uh, titanium too. I've got mine in the grey colour. That's quite nice, isn't it? Interestingly, the uh, blade on this thing runs on bearings. I'm hoping you can see them in there. Little bearings. The blade on this knife also appears to have a, have a gentle stone wash going on as well. Um, let's bring in a, a ruler for you so you can get some idea of the size of this thing. There we go. Uh, I got my um, vernier gauge onto it. Um, I can make the overall length 71.1 millimetres. Um, the blade length is 23.3 millimetres and as I said a few moments ago we have 3 mil thickness. We have two cutting edges on this actually. We have a cutting edge here and a cutting edge just here as per usual and they're both uh, round about 23.5 mil in uh, length. Um, the titanium thickness of the frames I uh, measured up at 2.8 mil thick. Um, the width, the widest part of the knife is where the pivot uh, screws are and that is 11.1 mil. How much does it weigh? One and a half ounces. 42 grams, not a lot. When I first uh, got this little knife, it was making some really funny noises when I opened it, um, but now it just seemed to have uh, 
settled in quite nicely it's very smooth in fact if I just uh, play you in the original opening sequence of this um, let's have a look no oh it sounds a bit gritty why does it sound gritty I wonder hmm it's uh, absolutely covered in oil guys it's a blade feel like pretty sharp with a nice sharp corner there so you can get it did sound rather gritty then, but it's certainly not gritty now. Not anymore. That's very uh, smooth and quiet now. Um, I wonder. Can we uh, flick it open then? It takes a bit of um, cause it's only a little small blade. Look. But there we go. We can, with a little help from a bit of a flick there, we can actually get it to. Uh, oh, sometimes. There we go flick open hmm very small little thing isn't it do you think I can get a, um, about two fingers on that as a size comparison I have one of my um, as you can see pocket shiv clones here uh, I think well the blade is definitely a lot sharper than that thing is especially that corner there, I'm going to have to watch out for that. So far I've avoided being cut by it, but um, there's plenty of time yet. As I say, it's um, an interesting little blade to hold. And you can also use it in like a scraping fashion as well. I would imagine, you know. Um, quite a nice little thing actually. quite like it. It's been interesting to see um, how it cuts stuff up. Because, um, yes, I can just about get two fingers on there. I'll tell you what, um, I think we ought to get the bits of bag in, just see what we can chop up with it. Okay, this should prove interesting then. Let's start with some paper. Yep, that's quite good. What about the uh, other side of the blade then? Let's have a look, see if we can do it with that as well. Can we? Is it sharp enough? Have they sharpened it? Can I actually do it? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's quite as sharp as the other end of things. Right, try some cardboard. If I can keep hold of it. Ugh, there we go. Can we do the, uh, very carefully, because I'm going to cut myself off not carefully. Yes, it's uh, able to do the cardboard then, the end of the uh, blade. Get rid of that, get rid of that for a moment. Um, there's a bit of a mess going on in here. Let's we'll see if we can uh, get the rope out. Right, I've got it in the end. Let's get a few uh, strands going. Mm -hmm. Are they going to be long enough? Hopefully. Get the little teeny blade in there. And try and keep hold of the knife as well. Oh yeah, that's alright. Let's cut through that then. Just chuck that down there for the time being. I've got my usual um, speaker style cable here. Look guys, you are familiar with that by now. Let's give it a go. Yep, let's chop through that one. Um, how about the uh, heavier gauge stuff? Here it is. Seven, uh, 24 strands of uh, 0 0.20 cable. Uh, Conductor, copper. Yeah, cut that as well. And uh, then we have my usual heavy duty uh, package strap in here. Good stuff. Knock the corner off with it, hopefully. If I can hold it. But there we go, it's taking it off. And this side as well. Oh, can we get it in there? Yes, look at that. 
nice. Um, let's try folding it over and carefully get the blade there because it's got these two cutting edges here. I'm going to slice myself in a minute too, I can see it happening. Uh, yeah, all but did it. Just left a little bit there behind. Right, there we are. Um, it might struggle a bit with the heavy duty um, zip ties. Take the corner off. Oh. Yeah. There we go. It's taking a. You can use it as I say, like a um, chisel. Right. Let's see if we can uh, chop a chop it in half with it. Yeah, it's just a little short blade. It's taking a um, bit of an effort to get through it. Well, it's halfway there, guys. We're halfway there. Oh, fine. Okay. Um, what about some seat belt? This will be interesting then. <clears throat> Might take us about a. Uh, Day or two, but we'll give it a go. It's getting there, and thank you to Link for sending the belt in. There we are, it's done it. Right, let's uh, get the chopping block in and see what the chisel point's like. Oh, yeah, look at that. Just to push down. There we are. What's it like for um, this point on here? What's that like for slicing the seat belt up? Should be pretty good, I reckon. Oh, yeah, it's done it. It's done it with the, uh, the first um, cut. Look, I think. Yep. Um, cable. Try the uh, speaker cable again. Yeah, there's not a lot of leverage available with this short handle, but you can do it. There's no pinging of anything, unfortunately. But there we go. Yeah, so it's a uh, slightly uncomfortable to use for fairly heavy tasks. It's um. Left some marks in my hand there. Maybe you can see those marks. It's such a small little thing to get hold of. Uh, hmm. But it's, it's done uh, what we wanted it to do. So this is a very interesting design. Uh, little knife, isn't it? Um, it's actually a copy of the uh, Curtis ODT flipper, and as such, I shall put um, a link. In the descriptive text below so that you can go along and take a look at the original uh, knife from the original manufacturer I'll put both the manufacturers uh, website link and a link to their knife as well okay guys uh, what do you think of the little Fura then I so apart from it being a copy obviously but I mean uh, what do you think of it very nice little knife I quite like it and as I say it's um smoothed itself out quite nicely since I uh, got it the other day look nice and quiet and also now flippable alright then guys um, let me just thank uh, Gearbest once again for sending it in As you, uh, it's very nice oh, I do like this actually it's a very interesting little design it comes in a nice little tin box wherever that's gone to um, here it is comes in this little tin box, uh, nicely padded. Uh, funnily enough, it's the same tin as I've had some of my, um, let's have a look, some of my uh, spinners in, because when I first opened the package, I wondered what it was. I thought, wait a minute, she, they haven't sent me the knife at all, but you can see, look, it's the same tin, exactly. <laughs> let's get that back on the shelf again. Uh, 
Okay guys, um, hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as I say, I do know it's a copy uh, of the uh, Curtis ODT flipper. Um, and as I say, I'm going to put some links below to that effect as well. All right, and guys, um, thanks to Gearbest. Uh, you can uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. That will help me out. Thank you very much. Uh, if you do so, you can click on this little bell here as well. Gives you the option of uh, receiving updates as to when I put new videos out. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. That's where I put the pictures of the new stuff. And I've just uh, posted a picture of um, this while I was doing some cutting, doing, doing the cutting tests. I posted a picture up down there of it. Um, you can also subscribe to me on Patreon as well. Um, you can use my links below, my Gearbest links below to purchase stuff. That's a really good way of helping the channel. Right then guys, uh, gotta go now. Uh, I can smell uh, dinner cooking and I am quite hungry to be honest with you. So uh, I'm off to get some dinner and I'll catch you guys later for another knife review. Letters. Rough.